When Club Penguin shut down, people were pretty angry. But did you know that what unraveled as a result was a disturbingly dark network of unethical hackers, ruthless scammers, and child predators? Let's explore the story of one man who rose above the odds to become a ruthless tyrant in the Club Penguin community. This is the rise and fall of Riley, the infamous Club Penguin Predator. Launching in 2005, Club Penguin was a browser-based game that allowed players to have fun in a large online community through the persona of their own Penguin avatar. By 2007, Club Penguin would rise to an astonishing 30 million registered accounts and would be bought out by Disney. The game would only continue to rise, reaching over 200 million registered accounts by 2013 before succumbing to an inevitable decline. Over the next few years, the popularity of Club Penguin would slowly decrease, resulting in company layoffs and fewer support for the game and many of its terrible spin-off projects. Eventually, in 2017, Club Penguin announced that the Community Love Penguin Party would be shut down. And on March 29th, players logged in for one last time to celebrate with their Penguin friends, before being disconnected and greeted with the message, Thanks for playing, Waddle On. I know, I know. Wipe the tears and get ready because Disney had all their players and their caring thoughts as they would release the successor to Club Penguin, Club Penguin Island. This game was terrible. It was nothing like Club Penguin with the sole exception that you played as a penguin. People were rightfully angry as this game came out literally the day that Club Penguin shut down. It's like if you have an iPhone and I give you an Android. Why? Why would you do it? All right, so now let me give you a little business talk. When demand exceeds supply, there's value. And there was now a lot of angry Club Penguin fans who wanted their old game back, with no servers available to play on. There was a market for Club Penguin servers, and savvy business entrepreneurs answered. Private servers using the original Club Penguin source code were created to give players a space to rejoice and enjoy their favorite Penguin pastime once again. Club Penguin Reborn, Club Penguin Rewritten, Super CPPS, Virtual Penguin. These are just some of the many Club Penguin private servers that opened in the wake of Club Penguin's official shutdown. While maybe some of these servers were created out of the good intended hearts of passionate Club Penguin members, and to be honest, I'd say very, very few. Most of these servers were created with the hope of one thing, that sweet, sweet cheddar baby. So how would these servers get money? Well, one way is microtransactions. A server gets made, the server gets players, the server sells some item or bonus you can get in-game, and the server gets money. Minecraft and Roblox do this very often, and some of the biggest server owners make a lot of cash. And another and more common method for monetization are the advertisements placed on the server's website. This in turn prompted a battle between server owners to see who can solidify their position at the top and reap the glorious spoils. Some try the honest and true method of hard work and dedication. However, we all know that's not how the big boys make the real bucks in this world. Allow me to introduce you to the literal mob boss of Club Penguin private servers, Virtual Penguin. See, we had four major families of the Club Penguin private server mafia. Club Penguin Rewritten being the most successful and the clear boss of the families, and Virtual Penguin being just a tiny factor. They were more like a glorified crew. That's because Virtual Penguin initially gathered their following by spamming the official servers in the final weeks of the Club Penguin shutdown. This was enough to get some players, but the Virtual Penguin crew wanted much more than some. They wanted all. The team behind Virtual Penguin devised a plan to attack and conquer smaller servers through DDoS attacks which would essentially boot these servers offline. Virtual Penguin didn't want to rise above the competition, they wanted to eliminate it entirely. Here is an almost word-for-word -word text conversation between the owner of the server, Riley, and one of his team members, Timmy. I want to take down Club Penguin rewritten. We can't. Not yet, anyway. Why? Why not build our empire by conquering the weaker Club Penguin private service first? Today, let's kill Super CPPS. But we're chill with Super CPPS. What do you mean, chill with them? Wasn't your philosophy, more users equals more money? We must eradicate Super CPPS. Riley was a cold-blooded gangster. The Virtual Penguin family would then go on to hack into other private servers and ban every player, forcing them to relocate, hopefully joining Virtual Penguin. Slowly, the families would fall to the blade of Virtual Penguin, until only two remained at the top, Virtual Penguin and Club Penguin Rewritten. 
Virtual Penguin could never decapitate Club Penguin we written. They were simply too large. However, a few things would lean in Virtual Penguin's favor that would give them the edge needed to make it to the top. First, Club Penguin rewritten had a one month shutdown. This supernova of a server that Virtual Penguin couldn't touch was actually run by a few high school students who created something that went way beyond what they initially planned. It became too much to handle, so they shut it down. Only to bring it back to life one month later. Although it was only a month, many of the players resorted to joining Virtual Penguin as that was the next biggest server at the time. Secondly, Virtual Penguin would make the choice to rebrand itself as Club Penguin Online, which would aid into the third reason for its popularity, the press. Online bloggers would create clickbait titles advertising Club Penguin Online as if it was the original Disney-owned Club Penguin being reopened. Many people joined under the guise that this was the original Club Penguin, and it drew in more than 5 million registered users. Just so you know, that's pretty insane for a fan-made private server. The criminal acts and manipulation from the Virtual Penguin team would eventually pay off, as they were now crowned the king of Club Penguin private servers. Club Penguin Online would be able to keep this rank for the next couple of years. Still competing with Club Penguin rewritten, they were able to keep a healthy advantage with many players regarding Club Penguin Online as the official, unofficial Club Penguin server. However, in 2020, this crime family of internet penguins would soon face the whirlwind of controversy they built over the past few years. Joey Hughes, aka Twix, an ex-staff member of Club Penguin Online, would take to YouTube, publishing multiple half-hour videos detailing the disgusting and criminal activities that occur behind the scenes of Club Penguin Online. No, you heard that right. A Club Penguin private server had a whistleblower. Joey exposed the entire situation behind the many allegations presented to Club Penguin Online. So, get ready. It's a lot. Riley wasn't actually the official owner of Club Penguin Online. It was actually Timmy, who was a developer. Riley was just the lead of marketing and advertisement, including a large Discord server that drove many players to Club Penguin Online. Without Timmy, the game wouldn't exist, and without Riley, the players wouldn't exist. They basically formed a symbiotic relationship. However, Riley had an edge. See, it's much more difficult to attract new players than it is to just rebuild the game. Although Timmy was the true owner, Riley had full reign, and he knew it. He would become power hungry and rule his kingdom with an iron fist. He would hire freelance hackers to get into other accounts for his plan of penguin domination. He would even sometimes hack his own team members to obtain blackmail so they wouldn't turn and rat him out. Worst of all though, he would message underage girls playing on the server for nude photos in exchange for moderator privileges on the server. The sad truth is, this would often work. Here's some text exchanges between Riley and others that were leaked from Twix. Bear in mind, Riley is 20 years old during the time of this exchange. Here's one between Riley and his team member Z. Is this Cupcake, referring to a girl on the server? Tell her to send me nudes. For mod. Riley, she's 14. So? This is a conversation between Riley and a girl applying for moderator. Hi, this is a mod application. I'd love to be moderator on Club Penguin Online. I love the community and staff. Thank you. Can you send pictures? What do you mean, pictures? Huh? Nudes. I'm 16. Send it for mod. And here's a conversation between Twix and an underage girl after he found out what Riley did. Chloe, can I ask you something? You never told me why you wanted to become admin so badly on Club Penguin Online. It doesn't matter anymore. I don't play that shit CPPS anymore. Maybe power? Explain what you mean by power. Riley told me that if I sent him revealing photos, I could have power in Club Penguin Online and rule the kingdom with him. <laughs> Wix would then go on to collect all the evidence he could to create a case against Riley. Dozens of screenshots, interviews with victims, and confessions from Club Penguin Online staff members. So you tell the story about how 19-year-old Anthony was preying on a 13-year-old girl. Well, he groomed her a lot and she sent nudes, unfortunately. He created a petition that garnered over 13,000 signatures to close down Club Penguin Online and encouraged others to submit tips to the authorities about Riley and his years of criminal behavior. After a long winded battle in May of 2020 at the peak of Club Penguin Online success, Disney would hear of these allegations facing the server and order an official takedown notice for Club Penguin Online. 
With this, the authorities would investigate Riley and make an arrest after finding possession of child pornography, officially concluding the four-year tyranny of Riley and his beloved kingdom. Penguins would then flock back to Club Penguin Rewritten, where they can feel safe knowing they can finally join a party of like-minded friends looking to have fun in sled races and snowball fights between themselves and their penguin buddies. Oh, what a night! Late December back in 63 What a very special time for 